Oh wait, uh, just I'll, wait. Yeah, what are you guys' names? Katie, Katie yeah, and Sam. 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 We're in the class. Yeah. So Katie and Sam, and I'm Max. Okay. Katie, Sam, Max. Okay. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Hi, I'm Max Alsop, and I'm a communications intern at the Museum of Art in downtown Fort Collins, and I'm here with Sam. Hey again, I'm here with Adol with Gwendolyn. How are you feeling about this prison exhibition? This is my second time at the exhibition. I was here last week. I feel like I've never seen art like this before. Like, it's very, it's like realistic, but it's also not realistic. Well, I know the project quite well because I know Sarah personally and this is the contrast between the very rationalistic and aseptic uh, kind of uh, hospital-like uh, architecture and then the sentimentality of the drawings made by the prisoner. Um, I feel um, enlightened almost. I've never seen what the inside of a prison looks like and I feel like that's a, lot, a feeling that a lot of people share. At the moment I feel, you know, enlightened and astonished and surprised mm -hmm. at just what what it looks like and just the feelings that you know um sarah mckenzie and the other artists have been able to capture do you have a favorite piece here that you've seen a favorite piece here i that's a hard question because there was so many good ones i definitely like the pencil sketches the most so any of the ones that are done in graphite just like that feeling of like blank dark gray you know, like prison walls. No, really. I mean, I was taking pictures of a bunch of them. There's so many, so many of the, even the little drawings with the little details of architectural elements from inside the prisons are incredible. There with, I guess, is the, the, the prisoner in, in his cell with his belongings and the little details and that particularly, I love it. And I love all Sarah's paintings. They are incredibly skillful and, and, and very well crafted and also they really speak uh, about about this tremendously oppressive and totalitarian architecture which is a prison. There's one over there that's like it's like a sketch drawn on the back of like a visitation like like form or whatever. Yeah. That was the coolest thing that you could just make something so I feel like that is very spontaneous makes it's just like you know, it's on a visitation form. On the other side, it's like this beautiful artwork and it's just like a little surprise, like you wouldn't expect that. How do you think that the pieces here in the exhibition amplify formerly incarcerated voices and also incarcerated voices? I really think it's a way for people to see the humanity inside of prison, because I feel like sometimes, you know, it's kind of an us and them thing. And this really feels like, you know, these are artists, these are people with, you know, emotions and lives and backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And we get to see just how they're living or lived, mm -hmm. just how that's affected them. And it's really nice that they get to present their art. It's in any w case, it's good to give visibility to, to these spaces and to get them to participate in different uh, discourses that they don't typically participate in this way, right? Which is not uh, maybe the, the, the way you will expect. There is an aesthetic dimension, there is an emotionality. I think there is a way to connect with all these human beings through the art that maybe other formats don't offer. I feel like it very much amplifies incarcerated voices. Not a lot of people actually know like what prisons look like and it was really interesting to come in here and see these places not only just like see them generally but also see them through the eyes of like people who are incarcerated in these places and see how they kind of see these places so I thought that was really cool. What do you hope that people take away from this exhibit? The first thing is that the people who are in prison are people. <laughs> you know? Uh, that also to make something that can trigger tons of emotions in people. I think this exhibition tells you there is hope for art because I think Sarah put together a really nice combo here on something very aesthetically interesting that also gets you to, to think very deeply about um, huge contradictions existing in our society. I hope people can just maybe have some empathy. We can like you know, use this as like a movement and we can like improve our incarceration spaces. I think that was like kind of the mission. Incarceration is supposed to be something that like helps people to learn and be better. But like, how can they do that if these places they're being forced in is so drab and depressing, you know? I really hope that people will start to, you know, combine the us and them thing to just, you know, human beings as we are and see that, you know, some people like art, some people like photography, some people like all different things. Everyone has interests and hobbies, no matter if you're incarcerated or not. Agreed 100%. Yeah. Thank you so much. You, you did do. so great.